it's a crazy quilt. I'm at home and it is a Thursday, October 29th. So Halloween's this weekend. I doubt that we have very many trick-or-treaters with the COVID going on. But I thought I'd go ahead and get this video out. Um, there was some questions around how many miles do I really have left and where are they? So my plan is to go ahead and finish this Appalachian Trail. It's 2,193 miles, and I have been doing a non-traditional flip-flop. And my plan is to complete it next year. Um, in the official terms of a through hiker, you're supposed to finish this trail in 365 days. I began, well, I was supposed to start the trail right after I retired, which was April 9th. I was supposed to start uh, in the Shenandoahs on April 19th and ended up postponing because of COVID. Oh, crazy, crazy. So by June, after uh, I decided enough is enough, I just went ahead and got on trail. So June 1st, I ended up starting my adventure and I ended up doing this on my own. Originally, Terry was gonna join me, a friend of mine, and uh, decided not to do it. So I went ahead and started on my own. My husband, Vito, thought I was crazy and he thought I'd be back in a couple of hundred miles max. And uh, there were times that I was wondering what the heck I'm doing, why am I out here? But it's an adventure for me. It's a challenge for me. It's something I've wanted to do to prove to myself that I can still do this kind of stuff and leave a legacy to really meet your goals. Go for your goals. Don't let anything stop you. So what did I accomplish? I completed 1,132 miles on the Appalachian Trail. The states that I knocked off the list were Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and West Virginia. On my wall, there is a few maps. We've got the Long Trail map, the Appalachian Trail, the long version of it that shows all of the uh, states in some detail. And then I have a smaller map that just shows basically the states. As far as the Appalachian Trail goes, I started this as a non-traditional flip-flop. Most people start at Harpers Ferry, which is right here. I decided that I was going to start in Boiling Springs, which is right here. And I did that because I wanted to make sure I could do this by myself. And my friend Tammy lives in Frederick, Maryland, and she was able to help support me as I started my uh, initial hike. So I started out and I went north and southbound throughout this area between Boiling Springs and all the way down to Front Royal. So this section I did by myself. And then Tina, I uh, put the word out. I was looking for somebody to hike with me down in the Shenandoahs. And uh, Tina responded, also known as Fiona. And then we hiked from Rockfish Gap over 100 miles to Front Royal. And then she went back home. And I made my way back to Boiling Springs. And then I started hiking and started going north. And I was pretty much by myself. Eventually, I did run into Pollyanna. But um, sometimes we were going north, sometimes we were going south. I did make my way through Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, all the way through Connecticut and into Massachusetts up to North Adams. And that's where I stopped. Um, Pollyanna and I had separated right around in here, but uh, I stopped in North Adams because I was flipping forward to New Hampshire to meet up with my friends, 
Terry and Lisa. Abigail actually also joined us. So I skipped Vermont totally and eventually ended up hiking north and southbound different directions uh, between this Genshin Pond to, to the Vermont border. I did flip forward and come back um, and started up at Mount Katahdin. I did the A-Ball Trail and hiked down the Hunt Trail with Anthony Chungbin. So he met me up here. And then I did the 100 Mile Wilderness by myself. And Phil Pepin's place is near Monson and that's where I ended up. So you can see there's a whole section here of Maine and a little bit of New Hampshire that I need to finish up. So that's about 160 some miles. And a little bit here, a little bit here. Everything else is done. Terry and I came back and finished up the Vermont section. So we have all of this done now. So we are over halfway done. In Maine, I have about 164 miles to complete. There is a small section in New Hampshire of about 31.9 miles. And then I need to finish up the southern part of the map, which is in Virginia and all of the southern states. I will most likely start down at Springer Mountain and make my way up north. I have to decide if I'm going to take my car this time or not. I have two people that are thinking about hiking with me, so I'll uh, work out those details and once those get ironed out, I'll let you guys know.